Hello everyone, my name is Squiddy, we don't care, my name is... You know what I love about October? It's not the fact that we get a lot of our favorite old horror movies to come back on TV so we can watch them as much as we want. But it's the fact that it reminds us of how scary these movies used to be and are way better than the crappy ones we've been getting these last few years. And it sucks, you know, because back in the day we used to have a lot of good horror movies that didn't depend on jump scare scenes that depended but depended on real horror and that's what I love I I love some of these old horror movies that used to do that they used to bring out real fear real legit fear and that was always great to see but nowadays it seems like we've been depending a lot on jump scare scenes or predictable stories or even twists or characters that you really don't care about and that's all wrong that's all wrong because you have you can't just depend on these things you have to make sure you can actually bring real fear okay you have to scare your audience hence the word horror okay otherwise you're just getting unfortunately these movies that are on my top five worst horror movies of 2015. Why top five? Well, unlike many people, I like to keep my list short. And, of course, I know 2015 hasn't ended yet, and we still got some more movies to go, but honestly, I don't think they can be as bad as these movies I'm about to mention. So, I'm going to use my phone so I can keep track which ones are on my list. So, let's start off with number five, Poltergeist. Now, this was a remake that I was actually interested in. I know we've been getting a lot of horror movie remakes, and some of them are very bad, like real bad. And I, but I thought Poltergeist would be different. I thought they would actually make do this movie right. I mean, with the trailer, it looked good to some extent, but unfortunately, they they made a lot of mistakes. One, the movie was not even scary, not even close. Two, the special effects weren't even that great. Three, the little girl was not as good as the original, okay? She didn't say, they're here, as creepy and as good as that girl from years ago used to do, okay? And of course, we can't forget about the terrible ending this movie gave us. It was, wow. Nobody died in this movie, which is okay, because we nobody died in the other movie, I think. But still, it was not scary. It was very predictable, and I know they made some changes to this to, you know, make it a little different, but no, it wasn't that good. Now, the only reason it didn't make, you know, number one or number three or anything up a little higher on the list is because despite it being bad, it still wasn't as bad as these other ones. So, let's go with number four. Hold on. The Lazarus Effect. <laughs> I said this to a friend of mine, this feels like a ripoff of Pet Cemetery, but no, I was wrong. Pet Cemetery was way better and did not involve supernatural powers or just psychic powers, ooh, whatever. Ooh. So apparently this this movie is supposed to be about this uh, this group that made a serum that can bring back the dead and one of them gets killed, so the, the other decides to bring her back. She ends up having with creepy ass powers and she kills off all her friends and that's pretty much the movie. It's the freaking serum that they used to bring her back that made her super powerful. I don't know what to think about that honestly. I thought it would be scary because of the way the trailer looked and I thought she was possessed by a demon or something. But nope, not a demon, just got obsessed with power. That's it. Nothing scary. Nothing good about this. I mean, there was probably one thing I liked was when one of the got one of them got killed when he was shoved into a cabinet and it was it was crushing him. I thought that was actually pretty good. But everything else, not scary. The actors were, I know they tried their best, but it wasn't that good. And <sighs> special effects before this was just wow. Alright, uh, number three, let me see, The Gallows. <laughs> wow, this was built up, I am not kidding. This was built up 
so much like the other two movies I will mention on this list, but this was built up so much that they even showed people watching this movie and getting all scared. I was sitting there just... No, like, I, I don't know what to think of it. Like, seriously, I didn't know what to think of it. So apparently these kids go into this school, this auditorium, to mess up with the props, and a spirit is trying to kill them by hanging them? Really? Hanging them? I. They even have the... Uh, during the advertisement, they said, Freddy has his claws, Jason has machete, and this other guy, I forgot his name, has his noose. That's how forgettable it is. Like, you don't even know the name of the ghost that's trying to kill them. I don't even remember any of their names. And the ending was just... Really? That was your plot twist? <laughs> oh, it makes me want to go see Poltergeist again. I, It really did. It made me want to go see it again. Because this movie, not only did it depend way too much on the gem scare scenes, but it was a found footage movie. Which, unlike Unfriended, this one was moving so much... You didn't... It left you confused with what was going on. And, as I said, the ending was stupid. I... Wow. Let me see. Uh, number two, Sinister 2. Wow. Well, kind of expected this on my list because of what I said about it. I think, I think I did a review about it. I did. And I talked about how this movie I thought was going to be a great sequel to Sinister... But no, this was a bad sequel. This was, wow, they had everything that was good about the first one, and they just, they didn't bother trying to do that again. They kept showing the boogeyman, or whatever his name is, I forgot his name. Uh, they kept showing him so many times in the movie, which was a mistake. The kid actors <laughs> were terrible. The kids that were playing the ghosts were just bad. Wow, very bad. And... The story for it, as I, I really was expecting a little more from the story, but no, like, this was not... And here's the thing, there's nothing wrong with showing the people that, through the uh, the video camera, like, or the footage or whatever, what happened to these families that got killed, there's nothing wrong with that, but when you're using that too many times, and it just, wow, I, I don't know, I just didn't like that much. Uh, I did say I did like one scene from it where the families are buried in the snow and they're still alive while they're dying. Like that was actually pretty cool, but everything else now, uh, especially the ending, I thought that was kind of dumb. I'm hoping they do a prequel. I'm hoping they do a prequel to make up for this crappy mess, but no, uh, the sequel was bad. It wasn't scary. It wasn't. It depended way too much on the jump scare scene. So yeah. It's bad, but it's not as bad as the number one on my list, which was the one that started all the crappy horror movies of this year, The Woman in Black 2. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I saw the original movie, and I saw the remake that they made. Both of them are way better than this one. Like, in every way, they were much better the story for this makes no sense. I mean, this the, these, this woman and this other guy are taking these kids away from the war. It's during World War II, I guess. And they're taking them away from the war into this deserted town in this creepy-ass home. And you think that's a good idea to keep those kids. Like, wow, you are terrible guardians to, to look out for these kids. You are terrible at your jobs. And yeah, one by one, these kids are being killed off by the spirits. And I still don't get why she's still going after these kids. I thought that was it. But apparently there was more to her story. More than we didn't see in the first one. Wow. Just wow. Uh, yeah, for me this was a disappointment. Because I thought this was going to be good. But it wasn't. It was predictable. Uh, the jump scare scenes were predictable. It wasn't... The acting, I would say, was... Bad, not that, not that bad, but it was bad, but and it wasn't what I had expected from the sequel. So yeah, this movie is the worst on my list because it started off the year bad for horror movies, and it led to these other horror movies on my list to go bad too, from Sinister Two, The Gallows, The Poltergeist, to the 
Lazarus Effect, to every other horror movie that came out this year. They were bad, and I am hoping 2016 will be different. So, yeah, that's it. This That's the end of my list of the worst movies, horror movies of 2015. You guys have a different opinion about these horror movies that I mentioned? Or any did you think should have been on this list? Leave some comments below, let me know what you think, and I'll be here next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Take care, see you all next time.